Yeah. I gotta get used to hearing myself when I'm like, this is crazy. <coughs> All right, I know what I'm gonna do. The cost of dying is going up. Right, you said that you agree, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say it again. The cost of dying is going up. And we thought the depression was tough. We're facing job cuts plus fair hikes multiplied by rent increases. This can't be right. This can't be life. I'm working to pay my rent and my premiums to match life. And I'm behind on both. So close to desolation that I'm walking with a cousin for racing saying to myself, why even try? Life is a struggle, but I can't afford to die. <laughs> Burial costs are astronomical, and my paycheck makes my situation seem comical. For real. I earn just enough for car fare and lunch. Get paid on Tuesday, by Thursday I don't have much. <laughs> Borrowing from Mark and Mike to pay back Peter and Paul. Now that's four more debts and all. You see, I can't even afford the morgue. It's sad folks can't afford to breathe because the water bills keep drowning them. <laughs> and it costs 10 times more than that for the mortgage on the shack used to house them. Sometimes it seems fitting that Benjamin was the one to discover electricity because it costs most folks, most of their franklins to maintain some currency. <laughs> Currently, cigarettes are ten dollars a pack. You too? I remember when you used to get ten Lucy's for a dollar. Now you can only get one, sometimes two. Smoke for an hour, holler back when you get that fiend for that nicotine that you scheme on what might be the contents of that trunk. Then you say to yourself, it ain't even worth it, and you just accept it. Yo, the cost of dying is going up. And it's not that I try to come up with thought-provoking stuff. It's just that life really provokes these thoughts in me to come up. Like, here's one that always seemed to puzzle me. Why do I have to come up with at least a G to file for bankruptcy? <laughs> Didn't they hear me when I told them the first time? I don't have no money. <laughs> I borrowed quarters to make phone calls because I ran out of minutes. And I just got my letter that my six months of public assistance is finished. <laughs> Three weeks was all my boss told me I'd be laid off for. Well, y'all know S, I can't sit and wait for the telephone to ring. I'm telling you, if things don't start picking up, I'm going to find myself picking up things. <laughs> life may bring. Learn to appreciate the smooth times as well as the rough. And just stack my pennies, y'all, because I'm telling you, the cost of dying is going up. Alright. y'all know me and everything. My name is Essence, and um... Hi, Essence. How you doing? <laughs> Okay, that's what it is. I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, then. I'm going to do something that's on the CD. I have a CD, a couple of them in my bag. It's fun stuff, but yeah. Let me let y'all know why I do what I do. Can I tell y'all why I do what I do? All right, this is why I do what I do. I do this for my family still living in the projects. Misguided sons, wayward daughters, mothers waiting on wig checks. For my nine to five brothers and my side block hustlers. I know life can be a bitch, but remember, poetry loves you. Poetry embraces you, can give you an escape. Just some words of encouragement for my brothers behind them prison gates. For all the public school teachers, you know teaching is an art. For the ones that make a difference, because it's from their heart. I do this for all our fallen heroes so that they're never forgotten. Martin, Malcolm, Mega, Gandhi, the Honorable Muhammad. For every homeless person to sleep in subway cars, street sidewalks, and park benches. I know there's a soul in there. I'm trying to help pull them out the trenches. I do this for every little kid who's ever lost his bike. 
for every mother who's ever lost a son to the night. I do this for the freedom fight, for the passion I have inside, because a gift from God one should not hide. I do this for subway rides, ferry trips to Statue of Liberty, the Yankees, the Giants, the Knicks, New York City. I do this cause it's in me and I figured why not share? Who said a diamond can't be found over there in the place where the urine sent the staircase made you feel like a disgrace to be placed in that place? But it was in that place from which his integrity was built. And y'all better watch out for this boy, I'm turning his talent into a skill. I do this for the war as well as for the peace. We need the former to reach the latter, plus even the good books are there the time for each. For my grandmother, my little brother, both who passed in 87. Nana, I tried to make you proud. Tell sure they were talking, I'm meeting in heaven. I do this for the love to be. This was meant. And it's not about the dollars, I'm trying to make some sense. I do this because I can, and right now I'm convinced. The only thing I can't do is write some wax shit. Something you should get smacked for this. I do this for the blackness, Afro picks with the fist. I spit because many of y'all really need to hear this. I do this for Fat Alvin and all my old school crews that still remember Chico Sticks, Laffy Taffy's, Charleston, and Peanut Chews. I figured what I got to lose. So what if I drop some jewels? Y'all could pick them up later, then apply if you choose. I do this because Shania's mother smoked up her shoes. And the eyewitnesses never tell you all the news. To let the widower know that everything will be alright. To let that father know it's never too late to enter your child's life. I do this for my daughter, for my son, for black unity. So my mother can smile and say, that's my baby. I do this because I still remember Tag Skelly and Double Dutch in front of the buildings. Parting. I just never forgot those days when kids were just children. I do this for you. I do this for me. I do this because I'm addicted to poetry. I do this for the last two poets in front of the last few children. To stay, sit, and listen to the words being spoken. I do this because I'm hoping. No, I believe, sure enough, we will see a day when kids will say, I want to be a poet when I grow up. Instead of the rapper, actor, or baller. And I'll pass on a pimp or the dealer on the corner. Before they all are goners, I'm trying to reach a few minds and change a few hearts. And if I only move one, well, then that was my part. I do this for Rosa Parks, Coretta Scott, Mahalia Jacks, Josephine Baker, Billie Holiday, Sister Betty Shabazz, to every mother, wife, sister, daughter, friend. I know there's scars in there. I'm trying to help the healing begin. Because the journey of a thousand miles begins with step one. Because there are eyes that will see and ears that will hear. I do this because it just needs to be done. Thank you.